Well, we're over in the other barn, and um, the same person that reached out to me a month or two ago now it is about the, the lights, I guess their other company, um, so they wanted to send us another thing, which is a pressure washer, a 3,500 PSI gas pressure washer. I got to take it out, but they wanted to see what we thought of that. Uh, they figured it would help with keeping the the parlor and holding area cleaner, which we were uh, looking into getting one at some point. It wasn't going to be anytime soon, but we figured at some point we'd get one for here, but this works too. Um, most likely we'll end up getting another one for the home farm. That way there's one at both. But we'll get this thing out and see how it looks. So it's I'm gonna need two hands for this. Some assembly required. Uh, I gotta use both hands to pull that out. We got the box emptied. A bunch of stuff there, here. We gotta put it together. Ferdy put the handle together. Do you need a wrench? Or does it have the wrench to come with that? No, uh, this is just... Oh, just hand screw on? Yeah, I mean, maybe. Well, uh, the, the barn already had a pressure washer hose right there, real. Now, does so it... see if it mounts up. Mounts up. As long as it has the same... Fittings and everything. Yeah. We might just do that because it'd be much simpler. It's a longer hose than they give us. I don't, I think... If we I want to say it's a 25 foot hose they give you. Yeah. It kind of would make what I would think it is, but that's never long enough, um, basically, in any situation for us. Yeah. But so, I mean, for today, maybe we'll have to use it because if the connections aren't the same, which I don't think they are, um, well, we can always figure something out. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to start mounting this thing together dropping shit. I got the wheels on. Let's just pop in real quick. Yeah. Marcus is here now here. Is also now here. Um, we gotta tighten up these bolts. We gotta grab a wrench. 13. Yep. 13 millimeter or a half inch. Tighten that up. That's loosening. And then uh, once those are tight, you put the detergent, the detergent bottle on, which honestly is something I don't think we'll use, but we're gonna put it on anyways because it came with it for like soap and stuff, but we'll tighten that up. Those bolts are not a 13 millimeter, they're smaller. So, my bad on that, but we gotta tighten up. Put this thing on, we'll get the four bolts in for that. We'll have this thing all put together soon. Well, we're putting this together. It's honestly something we don't need, but I will say, I can't get the fourth bolt in. The hole don't line up, and yes, I was I was pushing this together and flexing it. It's still, all the bolts are loose. They're just snug, but can't get the fourth one in, so what we're going to do with that is toss it. Marcus is going to tighten it, and we're going to run three bolts. So, yes, should at least get the holes all line up. What smells like that? It's just because it's new. It's the plastic. I hate new smelling plastic. <laughs> We put that little detergent hose in. If you put stuff in there, that way it siphons itself out uh, when you need it. So, Marcus is almost done tightening them, right? This one's about half junk. That ratchet? Oh, you have a second one right there that you grabbed two for some reason. I know, but that this thing don't fit on there. Oh, okay. Alright, this does come with a actually kind of nice paper to put it together. You don't have to do a lot of reading, you can just look at the pictures. So that's, that's actually handy. All right, Marcus, even you could do this. I could. <laughs> so we'll finish this up. We're almost complete. We got the handle put on. Oh, I know where that goes. You do? Show me. Yep. We'll put the four bolts in for that. And after you put your 0, 15, 25, 40, then spray whatever bubbler, whatever you want to call it. And you got this holder thing. Yep. 
whatever that's for. It's for the hose. All right, so Marcus is gonna tighten up these four bolts. Um, did you wanna put the nozzles in the right spots after? Sure. We'll get that on and then um, I have to use this little short hose because the long one is a different fitting. For right now, we'll have to get an adapter fitting for it. Depending on how well this works, we still don't know. I'm pretty confident that it should work. Hopefully. Um, but we'll see. It's and we have to put motor oil in it. It comes with a little funnel and it actually comes with the oil to that's put in sweet. it. So that's kind of nice. Fun. And we have to put some gas in it. That's we just put some gas in it. Is there a fuel? Yeah, there's, bomb? it might be a shut off on. Start. This is the first startup. I already got the water attached. Exactly. We're going to try this thing. Oh my goodness. You want me to pull that? Yeah. Probably the first time it's going to... Start! Put the other nozzle on. Huh? The other nozzle. Which one you want? The smaller one. so far it's working good got this all washed you can see that I have this left complain on that part it says it's 3500 psi i personally think it's a little less than that because our big pressure washer is 3500 psi and if i do this with that one it blows your shoulder back like you don't want to be on top of a shit tank like and hitting it and not racing yourself because it'll push you back um but i'm not saying that it doesn't have enough pressure it's cleaning everything i want so it's still plenty of pressure. If I, it's still taking that some of that fresh paint off. I mean, it is what it is. It's never gonna stick like factory, but it's still better than nothing. But it's working like it should. I definitely need a longer hose. We'll, we'll get it mounted to that reel, and if that's not enough, we'll just get a longer one. But I do like how since it's so small. I can bring it up here and pull it everywhere. Is that big one? If you guys are watching when we were doing the floor cleaning the first time, we had to bring it in with a skid steer because you can't handle that thing. Our big one's good for washing equipment because it's got a heater and it's just really strong for taking off thick mud. But this is perfect for in a barn like this. And you're not going to clean every single day like this. This is for like a week or two weeks or once a month, whatever you want when the buildup is. You just periodically clean to keep it fresh. Helps the steel last longer. But um, it's just, I think it's something I'll work good. We'll have to get one for the uh, home farm now because it's working good enough to where they'll need it. I think I'll have to bring this one over there anyways. Otherwise, uh, Ben will see this video and he'll want a pressure washer. So I'll bring it over there before this video's out. What do you think? 
Gerhardt's trying it out. Okay. He said it's okay. Well, I've done the whole um, rapid exit swinging part. Gerhardt's working on those posts right now, so those two are completely done. I did the inside already. I think it's closer to 1500 to 2000 PSI, but it's still getting the job done. And uh, the mobility part of this pressure washer is just really nice compared to the big one. So, so far I like it. All right, so I just got done this. Now this hasn't been washed since we started milking here. How many months is this already? Um, Two? Uh, yeah. What is today? March 4th. We started milking here February. No, no not March 4th. We started milking here March. May 5th. Today. Yeah, today's May 5th. We started milking March 15th. Yes. Um, so About it's. A month and a half. Yeah, so it's had a lot of time to build up. Um, hopefully now, every week or every other week, they can. Every week. Christoph's saying every week. So that's, that's, oh, that's what it's going to be. Um, Keep it clean here. I did not have time to pressure wash the cement curb or the back side of that uh, the holding area, but I can say it looks a lot better. The lights are really bright in here. And Chris, I was hitting the light switch on me, <laughs> but I do like the lights. Um, and this is not half bad. I can't remember what the listing price is online, um, but it's not the end of the world. And now I would not use this to pressure wash heavy equipment. It does not have the power behind it to do that. And you don't have the, the boiler. Having a heated water when you pressure wash equipment is very nice. It just helps take that grud off a lot better. But for something like this, when you gotta be able to maneuver the pressure washer around, it's very nice. Um, Cause you could just, it's really light. And honestly, to, clean this steel it works just fine so i think uh, the milkers will be happy with this and we'll we got to get another one because ben's going to see this video and he's going to be asking where his is because yeah, so. he's been asking for one for the home farm so we're going to have to get one now yeah. um but yeah i gotta say it took me like 20 minutes to put together because i was recording it too and marcus wanted to help so i had to let him do stuff you gotta find him um but no not bad at all pretty simple you need two sizes of wrenches. I actually don't know what size this was because Marcus went and grabbed them. I let him do that, so. Probably like a 10 millimeter. It looks like a 10 millimeter. Eight. A three eighths or a 10. Yeah. And then the other ones are either a seven sixteenths or a 12, but a 11 is a seven sixteenths, so. Um, I don't know. They don't give you the wrenches for that. They do give you the wrench to pull a spark plug if you need to, but you need to still get a thing to yes. open it. We have to leave. Yeah, I'd say I used a tank of gas and a little bit to do this. And I've been going at it for, uh, what time is it now? Two o'clock, at least two hours I've been pressure washing really or longer. So it's actually pretty decent on fuel for it being a little gas tank. And now you're watching Kristoff struggle with a, fucking with a little 25 foot pressure washer hose. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, check out their page. I'll have the link uh, in the description where you can find this. And um, yeah. It's gonna be broken by the time I get done with this. We will break it by the time we're done, probably. Alright, it's good. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, so thanks for watching. Until the next one. Over there.